All right, Leon Santa Cruz came through with the uh, the fifth round knockout over Kiko Martinez. Dropped him in the first round, and I mean, uh, it looked like really he was gonna stop him in that first round. He had him hurt pretty bad, but Martinez managed to recover um, and and get himself into a nice little rhythm there. The thing is, the way Leo Santa Cruz fights, which is largely inside inside fighting, short shots and everything, is the exactly the way that Kiko wants to fight. And, um, you know, the thing is, Leo was letting Martinez get in a little bit too easy. He wasn't really giving him much to think about at first. And also the fact that it's like he had so much success early, I think he thought he was just going to waste him in the first round. When that, excuse me, when that didn't happen, uh, the next few made it just a little bit tougher for him because Martinez was just wading in and Santa Cruz was looking to, to load up and catch him right there on the inside. He really should have been setting up um, the counters a bit better. And should have been catching him try as he as he was making his movements inside and you know really doubling up on the power, uh, but he he wasn't quite able to do that at least not until the fifth round where he finally stopped Martinez, and um, I mean it was just a good fight you know Martinez was definitely game, uh, Martinez came in pretty heavy, too he was a 138 fight night compared to 135 for Leo so. To me, that says he was probably a little bit drained, you know, at 122. You know, even though a lot of people, they want to BS and talk about like, oh, like he brought Mar Kiko up or whatever. You know, like Martinez had been fighting at a higher weight than Santa Cruz had to begin with. You know, Santa Cruz started at 118. Kiko was, had been at 122 for a minute. So, I mean, that that's just the way that went. Uh, uh, fights coming up for Santa Cruz in the near future. Um, possibly Lee Selby, although... I'm sure if Frampton winds up moving up, uh, he'll be able to to run that more quickly than Santa Cruz would, just because you know the money's bigger between those two. Um, you know, it's all UK battle, uh, North Ireland versus Wales, so you got that. Otherwise, I mean, you got the Abna, potential Abner Mars rematch, depending on what goes on with that fight that he was supposed to have with Montiel, if they wind up moving that to another card, since that was supposed to be on the Thurman versus Porter card. Um, otherwise, you also got Gary Russell Jr. out there, and uh, and also you got the winner of Oscar Escondón versus uh, um, who was it? Randy Caballero that he was fighting next week on the on the card with Luis Ortiz. So I mean, the, whoever wins between in that fight will definitely be a how well actually no no yeah yeah whoever wins that fight will definitely be right in there too because yeah that's for the um, I believe the interim. Uh, the interim WBC featherweight title, if I remember correctly. So, uh, you know, he has some good fights right there on the horizon um, if they can get it done. Uh, also, you know, if, if Aaron ever wants to play ball, maybe get uh, Lomachenko in there too. Although, I know he's th he's theoretically in the works with um, Loma versus Walters, hopefully at 130. So, that's that, and on to the next.